Hi Pisces, it's thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing well. This reading is for any sun, moon, or rising Pisces sign. We will take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness for the week, uh, guidance, and possible outcomes. I will also choose a couple of oracle cards for additional information. So let's just go ahead and get started with your reading. Interesting. I'm going to leave that in the reverse. And then we have the Eight of Rods and the Four of Pentacles in reverse. So the Four of Pentacles in reverse, in its upright position, the Four of Pentacles, we, it shows this man who is clutching his pentacle to his chest. He's stepping on pentacles. He has a pentacle weighing his head down. This is a picture of control, of controlling your resources, your assets, everything. You're not letting it out of your sight. And it may be something that's weighing on your mind. So you're in a holding position when this is in the upright position. In reverse, however, there's a sense that maybe you're ready to loosen it up and that you're ready to leave the status quo. You know, maybe this means that you're going to make some investments or you're going to uh, make a larger donation that you had initially thought you would to a charity, but there's a sense here of releasing some of the control. And honestly, sometimes in life with, with finances and our time, our energy is that we need to be in control of it because, uh, you know, we, we get ourselves in a position where we have to watch money coming in or money going out or the energy that we that we put toward a project and we have to kind of ratchet back and just kind of watch it so this is maybe now you've you've done that and you're ready to release and ready to open it up so with this opening up here's the eight of rods and we see the rods hurtling looks like they're hurtling downward uh toward earth and so this can suggest news, it can suggest opportunities, it suggests uh, that you have to make a quick response and make a decision rather quickly. This swiftness that things are in motion. You know, you may be a decision that now you're going to pursue that you need to get back to them quickly. A legal arrangement, uh, you know, uh, a, a, an invitation to a wedding or something that you have to, you've been thinking about it and you need to move on it. The Eight of Rods also speaks to um, projects begin and end in our life. We constantly tee it up. And here we have, uh, you know, the project's complete and then we're into something else. And sometimes we have more than one project going on. And so you get this sense of a lot of things happening. You may feel that life is speeding up this week or things are really moving quickly or that you're quite active. So between these two cards, a sense of release of instead of holding on and either making quick decisions, responding, communicating clearly, you know, email, text, phone calls, whatever it may be, communication and activity, things moving. Ooh, interesting. So we have two six cards. We have the six of rods. We have the six of swords. And the six of rods, this rider is riding into really a celebration of his success. And um, he's got people here watching. He has a victory wreath around his head. He has a victory wreath on his rod. And, you know, this, this is your reward all the hard work that you've put into whatever projects that you have, whatever dream that you've been trying to uh, achieve or accomplish, you know, this is your victory party. This is your chance to be recognized. It could be something big. Maybe you've trained and you've uh, successfully completed a marathon. Maybe it's something at the office where you've contributed and you've helped solve an important problem for a client and your bosses take notice. And you maybe get a promotion or you get a bonus of some sort. But, you know, this is uh, behind the scenes. You've had to show some leadership. You've had to make good decisions. You've had to probably deal with some adversity. And here you are. You're going to 
reap the reward of your efforts. And that's a good thing. You also may inspire a person or two by what you've done. Rising through challenges to get to this place. So what's very curious is now followed by this six of swords. Because when we're looking at swords, we are looking at adversity. We are looking at challenges and the obstacles that come our way. And here we see the man pushing the oar away on the water here. And here, you know, his oar looks like it's making the waters rough. Traditionally in a rider weight deck, this would be an oarsman who is um, steering two cloaked figures, a child and an adult, away. So the Six of Swords, we can look at it look at it as a transition card, a card of, again, movement, of either moving away from a location, letting something go, because it didn't work out and it didn't, uh, it didn't satisfy you, it didn't meet your needs, or you felt that it just wasn't right and you feel that the best play is to move on. For some of you, this is taking a literal boat trip. It could be travel. And then I would say that in terms of guidance, here's the guidance of winning, of being successful, of achieving through hard work. Here's transition of movement. This could be a permanent move. This could also be a temporary move. Sometimes when we are in a challenging spot, if we just take ourselves out for a moment, then that can help. We can reframe in our minds what we have to do to get back in the game or to, you know, how can we get back to a situation? But for some of you, this could be a permanent change, leaving a relationship, leaving a job, leaving a place, leaving people behind, transitioning from friends that don't serve you. So many um, many ways of thinking about this here in terms of guidance. In terms of possible outcomes. We have the Nine of Pentacles and we have the Five of Rods. So the Nine of Pentacles is an independent woman here. She's in her beautiful backyard. She has grapes and she has her pentacles on display. She's built the comfortable life and by golly, she's going to enjoy it. Probably again, much like the six of rods, man, behind the scenes, you've had to make smart decisions. You've had to probably sacrifice, uh, you know, uh, shown discipline, all to be successful, all to build the life that you want, the created uh, the creation of what you want and the, and the comfort that you need. The thing with this picture, though, is that here she's either single, she's independent, she's either chosen this or just by circumstance, this is how, how, where, how and where she's arrived, is that don't forget to have fun. Here's the little falcon. And don't forget to enjoy your pastimes, your hobbies, because all work and no play is a bummer and life is short. And before you know it, it's like, gee, why didn't I, why did I work so hard and I forgot to do some of the things that I really loved? So this is just a cautionary tale as, as you strive for success, make sure you have some fun along the way too. And then here we have the five of rods. Five of rods shows up. You can expect an argument this week. You can expect a conflict. You can express, you can expect people maybe not working together. Maybe someone, you know, ego, people trying to position themselves, uh, take advantage perhaps, but five of rods, it's a bit of a mess in this picture. There's a lot of disorganization and there's a lot of, uh, maybe people not knowing what to do it would benefit from some structure would benefit from probably the egos, uh, settling down. And sometimes we just need honest conversation to get through these things. So conflict arguments, it's not a deal breaker. You know, we deal with this BS all the time. You just have to roll with it and you have to figure out how to get past it. So my Pisces friends, this is what I have for you for the week. Oh, I'm not finished. Oh my goodness. Here we go. I have the Oracle card, the affirmation for the week. (laughs) 
Whoops. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we have. The culmination of vision. That is an awesome card. That is an awesome thought. Beautiful woman, the butterflies, the people watching. The culmination of vision. Look at that. Six of rods, vision, nine of pentacles. Now let's see what we have for love. Trust. Trust the parachute. <laughs> Trust that your parachute is gonna work, right? Trust yourself and start with that, you know? Trust yourself, your decisions, your choices and your sacrifices. So now Pisces, I'd like to wish you the very best for the week. I thank you for your time. If you enjoyed this reading, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video, share this video, comment below, and I'll see you next week. Take care.